Hi, today we're going to be talking about capital letters. I'm sure you've seen this. This is the lowercase a. a, often called A. And this is the capital letter A. Now, why do children need to learn capital letters? Capital letters are typically used for three main things. One, when you're writing people's names. Two, at the beginning of a sentence. And three, for proper noun. So children need to learn this early because they begin to write their names quite early. So they need to learn capital letters. So when you introduce capital letters to children, you have to explain to them the purpose of capital letters and the reason why they need to learn what a capital letter is. So this, as I said, is the lowercase a and this is the uppercase a. So we're going to go on and just show the two side by side so you can see the difference, so you use it in teaching the children which one is the capital letter. At this stage, you tend to use the name of the letter. Why? Because at this point, the children should have learned their lowercase sounds. So they know all the sounds of the alphabet before you introduce them to capital letters. This are the point where you're beginning to use letter names. So at this point, you're going to be using letter names. A, capital letter A, B, capital letter B, C, capital letter C, D, capital letter D, E, capital letter E, F, Capital letter F, G, capital letter G, H, capital letter H, I, capital letter I, J, capital letter J, K, capital letter K. L, capital letter L, M, capital letter M, N, capital letter N, O, capital letter O, P, capital letter P, Q, Capital letter Q. R. Capital letter R. S. Capital letter S. T. Capital letter T. U. Capital letter U. V. Capital letter V. W, capital letter W, X, capital letter X, Y, capital letter Y, Z, capital letter Z. Okay, so we've gone over the 26 letters of the alphabet. Once again, I included Q. Why? Because Q is one of the... 26 letters of the alphabet, so we cannot omit it. So children also need to learn the capital letter Q. However, what matters is that they are able to know this is the capital letter A versus this is the lowercase a. That is what matters, that the children can relate this to, each, to, to one to the other. So for example, if you're going to write the town Lagos uh, or you're trying to write the town London, the child knows I'm going to use the capital L, which is totally different from the lowercase L. So I hope this has been useful. I hope you can use it. I'm looking forward to your comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.